seen to. Got like five floors. We on the fourth floor, so we right here. But see they got their little cafe dinery. Snacks, bar drink. And they also got their area. A little boutique area where they sell a few items to buy, dresses, uh, jewelry, mostly for the ladies. It's another view on the front. See this sign as well. This is a great location. See it right next to the beach. So door step out. Right here by the beach. You got some money exchange, a couple more boards, you got a cannabis spot, you got a bunch of more hotels. But this is one of those good hot spots where you can come do a few things. There's another restaurant. Yeah, the hotel, but I'm gonna take you through it so you can see it from the view. There's a bunch of hotels connected to it. So as you can see, let's take a step and walk. Let's look a little bit at some of the restaurants. They're watching the same game. I'm going to wave your hand and come in. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take this elevator again. Like I said, we're on the fourth floor. Alright, let's go to the touch button screen. How you doing? I'm your cameraman, Bobby T. Put this fourth floor on there. And we're going to take it up, so. Elevator, they got a couple of things you can check out. They happy hour menu, Saturday food and prices. Everything is in bots. We got a you know, Google, so you can see how it looks. That's a rooftop pool, so you can see what bots is to you. Have a dollar, you know, it changed daily, so. I don't want to give you no wrong thing with the cigar room. You can see like that in room. Mini fridge. We stock a few things in there for us. They give you a menu of how much everything costs again in box. And if you can't bring or do in the room. Nice bedroom. We got somebody else. They can stay there. TV. One thing that's slow in here is the internet. So you can do better with that. So it's one of the best things I like. Get the bathroom with the jacuzzi tub that looks right outside. Also, your shower right there. So you can look out on the streets, look out on your neighbors, and just hang. Have a good time. Look at that view. You can lower this if you want complete privacy. But if you want to be a nudist and leave it open, you can do that too. Alright. Then last part, I'm going to show you the balcony. And I'm going to go upstairs and show you the rooftop pool. So this is our balcony. This is the pool for this hotel here. Alright, so let's go upstairs now and check out a little bit more of ours. She should be upstairs. So we'll go up there and check her out and see what she wanted to tell us about. But the pool is right here. Easy walk up these stairs. Our room here. Everything nice and small. They come up. Little hallway. Somebody room here. Other hotel, you can see they run from here. Like some kind of water park over there. Then we come out. Here is like a, a VIP master suite type room. I can see her right there. I'm going to show you the pool and then we're going to see. But she got for all my gym people. They got a nice gym for you. 
go in there have a little fun with this pool. It's a life. That's the last hotel we stayed in. The Tone Tower. So the rooftop pool. Getting a little shot at the gym. Little quaint little gym. Alright man. It's time for the host with the most hour. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we're here still in Phuket, Thailand. We're at another uh, premier resort, uh, or I would say boutique hotel. And this is Patong Signature Boutique Hotel in Patong, on Patong Beach. Um, as you can see, it's right uh, in the front of Patong Beach. So actually, when you walk right outside, you're steps away from the beach. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about this location. Uh, in comparison to a Patong Tower, uh, this place is a lot better to me because you have access to restaurants right beneath your feet. Uh, pretty much everything stays open 24 hours. I would say maybe around somewhere around 3 a.m., 5 a.m. Uh, restaurants. definitely a different aspect it's definitely a different aspect or um, different in comparison to, to the tower because here you're able to um, step right out and get straight to the beach you're also um, it's a lot, lot quieter on this side so on that side when you're by the tower you have more um, silk it's just a lot mellower over here. Even the water and the waves are going mellow than the beach. Um, and it's, it's good to go to different sides of the living. And uh, I would give this hotel a, a good view. I would say that. how close you are to the beach. Um, I also, like I said, I like being a little bit more away from the nightlife. And if you're a little older, um, this is definitely a better scene for you versus being by the tower, which is more of a party scene. So, so is the price look, cheaper here or at the other place? Well, here uh, is actually about the same. I think we paid about $500 to stay here and then we also paid the same at Patong Tower, so it's a, the same price, um, but it's definitely a, a lot different as far as how you put it. Alright, well, y'all heard it from Fee and Mike. We have Signature Patong, a new hotel out here. One thing that we did forget to mention is the internet sucks, so that's one of the two problems. The internet and the water is about the most problems you'll have. Everything else is pretty solid, so. Even if, you know, even though the showers were cold, the internet sucked, uh, when you come out here, you're able to get a SIM card, so we have other Wi-Fi options. Um, and as far as the shower being cold, that's, a, a, that's something I'm willing to take for everything else that comes with the, the pros. Last question, would you stay here again and would you suggest other people to stay here?
bathroom is not so, um, what's the word? It's not so at your face, it's uh, more laid back, more not so uh, aggressive with the tourism. So, y'all heard it. If y'all want to see more, check us out and subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll make sure you like Travel with Mike TNF, and we'll catch you next time from Phuket, Thailand. Peace, and we out of here.